You are this, here and now. Right now, just look and see that you are aware of thoughts, you are aware of perceptions, you are aware of feelings, experiences, and any other phenomena. You are even aware that you are conscious. You are clearly and vividly aware of all of these things. You are certainly there. Or in other words, you are. This undeniable presence of knowing and being is here right now. You cannot say you are not, nor can you say that you are not aware. Since everything objective appears and disappears before you, your essential nature must by default be the knowing presence itself. You are this, here and now. You also know this fact in all of its immediacy and beyond any doubt. Here you are, face to face with the fact of your own being, right from the start. You are not a thing or an object that can be grasped by the senses or understood by the mind. You are no thing within the domain of consciousness. You cannot be perceived or conceived, yet you are vividly present and beyond doubt. Other words used to point to your true nature are non-conceptual awareness, non-objective being, space-like awareness, cognizing emptiness, pure consciousness, being, the true self, no thing, and so on. If the terms consciousness or being refer to conscious of objects or presence in the world, what you are is prior to consciousness, prior to being and prior to experience. From this angle, your ultimate nature could be termed as the state of non-knowing, non-being, or non-experience. Words are only concepts. You are not a concept, so no words can describe you. Whatever term you use, it is only a pointer to the fact of your very self, which cannot be denied. If you say, I am not, you must be present to make the statement. If you say consciousness comes and goes, there must be a prior awareness that registers that. Thus, there is an absolute being and awareness that cannot be denied or negated. You are that. You already are what you are seeking. Just see, know, and be what you already are. You are that non-conceptual knowing presence that registers all that appears and disappears. Even everything perceivable and conceivable disappears, including the concept of the I. You still remain as that non-conceptual awareness. That is no thing, yet is undeniably present as that pure awareness or pure being that cannot be denied, for it is what you are.